What's going on YouTube? This is the white guy here. Some more Max vs. ATV Reflex. Day. The track is called Panic Rev. This is the free ride version. It's probably gonna be a racial version pretty soon. But it should be better slot four. I think. Yeah. There we go. Here we, here we go. Right off the bat here. We're gonna roll down this big ass hill. Right into that berm, right into the next one, and I'm actually going to cut really quick to make sure my microphone's working, because I actually had an issue where I recorded a video on this and then my microphone wasn't working and I had to restart, so we're going to check that right quick and I'll be right back. Okay, yep, it sounded like we're all, it's working, so we're all good to go here. I'm going to put a couple laps here, probably two or three laps, probably closer to two, because uh, this track is incredibly long. I'm trying to get an idea of the time when I'm starting right now, and ooh, this might be cased a bit, it's okay. Gonna case that as well, that's fine, as long as we can build up enough speed to launch into space right here. Yeah, look at that. That's a big step up if I have... Ow, oh, oh, that was rather painful, actually. Ooh, alright, we're gonna roll back down, I guess. Alright, let's try and get up this hill now. We have, to, we have to double back on ourselves a bit here to make sure we can actually clear this jump. And get go in. And here we go. Clear for takeoff. I did not even come close to making that, unfortunately. So this track is by MX Warlord. This is probably the best track to date that he's made. Like this, every time there's a new track that he makes, I say that's the best one because this get better every time. This track is actually it looks really good and it rides really fucking well. This guy's pretty amazing tracks. So let me know what you guys think about the tracks down in the comments. And I guess I'm gonna go. We're gonna go back to trying to start comment wars. There's the backflip. But for commenting, I guess, discussion, Intel versus AMD for processors, let me know what you think there, and, and, and or graphics, I don't know. Let me know what you think there, like processors, APUs, go ahead, discuss what you think is better there, and let's, let's, let's get some comment wars going on, perhaps. And there we go, nailed the 360, let's go for a second one. I'm not even going to come close to fucking clearing that jump, but that is okay by me. And we're gonna reel that and keep the power down as we launch. I like this. I like how he does where he launch into the whoops. I do rather like doing that. It's fun. I think we have a big step up triple. I think if I can hook that over. Oh yes, we did that nicely. I'm getting the first person right now because this, like this track especially, is one of those things where it feels like you kind of have to ride it in first person to get a sense of how ooh, we're going off the track. But it's like you almost have to ride this in first person to get a sense of how big this is. Although this jump, I'm gonna slow up for because there is something else I want to show you here. In case you don't clear that, so there's a second option you can take right here, which you could actually probably do a double backflip over that right there. And I fucking bailed. But, um, so in case you don't make it, there's another jump right there you can hit to get pretty big air. We have to back up a bit here so we can actually clear this now. So we're gonna double back on ourselves with the bike background. I'm gonna be doing this track a lot in first person just because I, I feel like you get a better feel of the scale of the track while you're in first person, and I'd rather play in first person, and especially on tracks like this, because like, you don't realize how big some of these jumps actually are until you like you ride it in first person, you get a better feel for it. Plus, I think the whips look kind of cool doing it in first person, like you're whipping around, looking backwards and shit. You're looking sideways where you're flying. I do rather like that. So yeah, that's why I'm gonna do this in first person now. So we come up to that rail, that mofo. We're gonna hit that jump a bit sideways, hopefully pull back onto the track there. Nice, looks like I did. And let's go for a... Let's try and actually slow this backflip, that's gonna hurt. Probably could've gone for a double there if I didn't lean forward and grab the brakes, but oh well. Ooh, no, we're rolling backwards down the hill again, nice. Uh, I don't know why I tried to do a backflip there, I was never gonna come close to the end. Let's just go around this now and move on with the tracks, so not wasting too much time here. And here we go, it's charged right into that, clear everything, except for that little bit right there, we're gonna case, case it just a bit over this, I don't even know what to call that, like a dragon's back type thing almost as I case that completely because I got a really shitty line into there. And reel that corner really well, and I'm gonna hit this thing, get over there, nice, that was a pretty smooth landing. And here we go, we got like a little double into big double. I fucked up, because I'm not whip glitching like I should be. Rail that berm, you gotta keep as much speed as you can on these tracks, it's pretty important. There we go, there's the whip glitch to over it, and, ooh, I almost overshot that, nice. Hopefully I can clear that, we're gonna have to bounce off that. Oh, we didn't quite make it to the top of here, because then you just step down and you land on top. Rail that mofo, and launch into the whoops, hopefully keep some speed through. Launch straight into the berm, don't even touch the ground, just right into the berm, land, like, 
30 degree angle when I land that. Let's whip that mofo out, and we're probably going to have to slow up right here. I think there's, that's a, a th I like about this track, like if you don't make the jumps, like right here if you case that, you can slow up a bit right here, and double, I think. No, I fucked up. I fucked up badly. But you should be able to, if you do that, if you hit that at the right speed, you can double this. Do it just right, and then you think you can come up here. And if you hit that with more speed, you can double that and then clear this to the top here, which is nice with our alternate lines in case you don't make it. And I think now we're coming into the big air section of the track. Throw a taunt out there because I can't. Let's get that front end back up before we wreck. But yeah, this is definitely the big air section right here. And I fucked that up because I didn't whip glitch. I did rock solid. Instead, we're going to have to jump off to the side a bit. And hopefully pull ourselves back up on top. There we go. Yeah, well, I, I know what I'm doing. Don't, don't, don't question me. And rail it, rail it, full speed. Let's not cut too close there. Uh, pull ourselves back on track. And here we go. We're gonna whip glitch this one out. Yeah, look at that whip. Like I just like being able to look completely sideways when you're flying through the air. I like, ouch. Uh, vehicle tuning. We need softer suspension so we can actually land these jumps. We're gonna have to do that. And let's resume the game now. Hopefully we can like wall ride or something cool. Okay. I don't know what that was, but I'll take it. Wheelie, pet brakes, put the front end back down, and launch off on top of the wall. And let's step down back onto the track. We're gonna take this line on the left here, because this left line is definitely faster if you're concerned with lap times. The left is by far faster, but the right's more fun. So we're probably taking a right side line from now on once I because like if you hit that, you crunch, you fly at a lower angle, and you get up, you land quicker, and there's lower angle, so it's faster. The other way just shoots you up a lot higher, and it's more fun. So probably go the right from now on. I think we're coming close. To, you're getting close-ish to coming around for finishing the first lap, I believe. There's a few, few more bits of the track left. Got a nice berm right there. Oh right, you have to slow up for that. I forgot about that. My bad. So now we're gonna be fucked up through this section probably. And hopefully I can whip glitch myself back into nope not not quite but here we go now now we'll be able to make up some lost time with this thing which we're going to try and bust out a backflip over ouch that yeah the, the backflip didn't take so it was just yeah that didn't work so let's hill climb it back up here this is a pretty good challenge drag it up these hills on a bike come on you can do it you're almost there you're almost there keep keep charging push there we go. Alright, we made it up. And now we're coming around to finish the first lap of the track here. It's a nice big out, fl flat out high speed, I guess, and we we'll bump up to there. Ooh, we almost went down there, so that's yeah, a thing. And this may put a date on the video, but Happy New Year, everybody, because I don't know exactly when I'm going to be rendering and or uploading this, but at the time of recording this, there's like two days to, until New Year's, so in case I get take a couple days to put this up, Happy New Year in advance to everybody, in case I don't have any video up, because I probably won't have video up. So, I guess topic for this video, or another thing, is uh, what you guys doing for New Year's? New Year's plans, anyone? Anyone? Plans? No? Maybe? I don't know. I've got some large boxes of fireworks and potentially a woman to be spending New Year's with. Potentially, hopefully, I hope. Cross, cross my fingers. <laughs> and um, the fireworks are definitely going to be a thing, though, because every year we go all go all out with the fireworks and not necessarily all. This year we kind of went we went the lazy man's way. We got like um six of those like fifty shot cakes, which is it's just like uh fifty two inch shells packed into a little box. You light a fuse and it automatically it'll just fire fifty of them off without having to actually light them individually. So it's like you just light the fuse and sit back and it'll do a little show will run itself. It's basically the way we have gone this year. So that's that's nice. So I can just sit back and relax. Instead of having to run around with a blowtorch. So yeah, that that's the plan. Piss off some neighbors, it's always fun. So what do you what are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments as well. Ooh, look at that fatty whip as we don't even come close to clearing this. Son of a bitch! Alright, so hopefully we can make some speed up around this corner. And full throttle, full throttle. That was not a bit you're supposed to jump on there, but oh well. And let's hit this launch into space right here. Here we go. Cleared for takeoff. Bow! Get that side. That's what I like about first person in this track, especially. You can get really sideways with the camera. And I just like doing that. Alright, let's try and stay on the track this time. Bend to the left. Here, let's try and clear this thing all the way over. Yeah, see, that's where I like you can get. Oh, shit! <laughs> that that didn't work at all, so we're just going to cut the track a bit here. Let's, let's try this again here. Let's 
Let's get through the whoops. Let's try and actually clear this jump this time. Yeah, getting real sideways with the camera there. We didn't quite make it. Oh, fuck. Ah, that was painful. Alright, so let's charge up the hill now. Be making some slow progress. Okay, I guess I'll get out of the first person for those that don't want to see it in first person, but I'd rather like playing this track and for eh, forget, we're going back in for these next few jumps. So I just like hitting these big jumps in first person. Let me know what you guys think about first person or no life. Like tracks like this where it's lots of big jumps and big whips. Would you like to, be, to keep doing it in first person like I am now, or would you rather see it in third person? Because I prefer some per per first person because I think it looks cool when you get these massive whips going on over massive jumps. I'd rather be in first person, but maybe you guys don't want to see that. I don't know. Let me know what you think. But for now, I think I'm going to roll with it because I do rather like it. So we'll get out of first person for the, when there's not the big jumps. I'll, I guess I'll hit one of the big jumps in third person to get to see what the whips look like. But I do rather like first. Especially with that Jamie T camera mount. People are wondering how my camera is like that in first person. Uh, let's go on Reflex Central. One of the things at the top is Jamie T made a camera mod that increases the field of view of the first person camera so you can actually see where you're going. It actually makes the Reflex first person camera pretty much really usable. Not yeah, pretty much really usable, it makes it really usable. And hopefully I can actually clear this. There we go. Rail that mofo. And top the, the dragon's. Chest, I don't know, because like instead of dragons, back to like a dragon's chest. I don't know what to call that. And another one of these big doubles, which I almost cleared it, but I fucked up a bit, so that's okay. Rail that berm real good. Launch this guy. Oh yeah, getting it real sideways. The whips, perfectly smooth. Like this, these tracks are they're getting really good. And they're riding really smooth now. This guy was really get. He's getting. He's uh, his shit is on point. His shit is like sharp enough to stab somebody with. Honestly, it's pretty. It's pretty sharp. So we're going to launch right into the berm there and launch over the berm and fuck up a bit. Uh, <laughs> yep, that's how I do. And now we're going to rhythm out. We're going to rhythm our way through the whoops here because that's totally fast. All right, let's try and get some speed built up again. And hopefully we can clear this. Triple that and then should be able to double up here. Yep, yeah, there we go. And then scrub that a bit. And then not do that. We have to stay... Center here, you gotta have some momentum coming into this, or you're gonna be done. But this is the one you guys you want to slow up for a little bit, so you don't jump too far, and you can get the power of the ground to accelerate for the big jumps, which I'm getting back in. Look, look, I just like getting sideways with the first person cat. Oh, we're gonna hit the wall. Watch out! Oh, watch it. There we go. Very close to death right there, but we're good. we're good. All right, so let's try not to shoot ourselves off the track again right here. Yep, we're good. And that's a pretty good line to take into this. We're going to have to whip it out sideways here and try and pull ourselves back on track. There we go. You got to get these jumps landed. Look, uh, look at that whip. Like I like doing whips like that in first person. I think it's just too much, it's just too much fun for me. Like, look, at, look how sideways and good you can get the camera yanked out sideways. I love that. I love doing that so much. I'm having a ton of fun with this track. I used to do laps all day long, but after this lap, I'm probably going to have to stop so the video is not absurdly long and it's not going to take me two hours to render stuff that happens. Because, like, after ten minutes, I feel like beyond the ten minute mark, most people are going to stop watching beyond ten minutes. That's why I don't want to make these too long. There we go. There's a big step down. Yeah, look how, like, I like getting the camera backwards like that. It's, it's fun when the camera's bass backwards and you... Shit! Okay, where was I at? I was... Somewhere back here, I think. Um... Okay, let's see, I went over there. Hit the big step up. Alright, we're just gonna go, we're gonna go up here and see where we end up. Okay, we'll continue from here, I guess. Maybe. Possible, no, we were not, we were far beyond. Whatever, we're continuing from right there. Uh, actually, wait, no. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, shit! This might hurt. Ouch. Uh, wait, could we actually land that down there on the berm right here? For If we get off that fast enough, could we actually potentially land this? Nice! Uh, now let's see which way are we going here. Is this the right way? Yeah, this is the right way around. Let's go this way. So we gotta rail that. Launch that. Tap that. Yeah, we're somewhere roughly in the right spot now, I think. Rail that, launch into these whoops. Maybe actually, no, we might be in the completely wrong. Whatever. This is close. Yeah, this is completely the wrong spot, but hey, I'll, I don't care. I'm gonna, I'll go through this big air section again. It's fun. It's a fun section. Air wheelie. And you gotta scrub this a bit so you can try not to go too far. Pull to the inside, stay on track, tap the brake a bit to get the front wheel down. 
launch this. Don't want to send that too deep. We're not going to be able to have enough, make up enough speed to be able to clear these next couple of jumps. They're just so massive. Like that one in particular is a bitch and a half to get over. You have to get that one perfectly to be able to make that one, but I did not make either of those actually, so um, shame on me. Now we're going to have to launch up here. And hopefully it would be a nice little tabletop right there we can clear and high speed section to regain any speed you may have lost so you can actually be in a decent shape when you come into enter the next section. I let off the gas there a little bit so we don't send this one too deep because we're going to be going pretty big with the whoops or, or the, the whip, the whoops, the whips. Hopefully I land that. Nice. Like I just like in the camera sideways like that. There's no other tracks you can do that on. Just too much fun for me. Like look look how good that camera is. It gets sideways like that. It's, I just have fun doing that. Said that enough. But yep, yeah, and launch this. Pull the front wheel up. Into the whoops. Hopefully we don't crash. Alright, we're we're good. I think you have to let up a little yeah, you gotta let up a little bit right there so you don't go too deep. So then you can take all your speed and carry it off. Big whip, get that thing sideways. Land it, and you got another one. Big whip. Let's get let's bring that mofo all the way around. Oh shit! <laughs> Uh, yeah, I launched a bit sideways, so you can see from that tire mark there. We're going to try and launch off this in backflip right now. Why not? Nailed it! That's what I like, though. If you do, In case you screw up a jump, there's another jump you can hit to put you back in line, which is rather nice to have. Oh, yeah, look at that. Let's get that shit sideways. That's just too much fun for me. And I think we're coming back around to the finish line now, so time to plug the social media accounts. Yeah, we got the Twitch for live streams linked down there. Go follow me there. Got the Instagram and Twitter also linked below there for real, real life stuff. If you want to go follow me there, that'd be pretty awesome. I'm up to like 170 some odd followers on Instagram now. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've only got 90 followers on Twitter, though. Nobody likes Twitter. And I don't really... No, this is just kind of random ramblings about shit that most people aren't going to care about. Uh, then, uh, of course, we have YouTube right here. Subscribe if you want to be incredibly sexy and uh, join the incredibly sexy army of stereotypically white people. I I, I don't know. But uh, that I think you guys got the point here. I'm the white guy, and as always, have a nice day. I'll see you later, hopefully.